Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I wanted to show you guys how you can use a VPN, whether you're on Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android. It's basically the same thing. Once you learn how to use a VPN on one device, you'll be able to use it on all the other devices. So let's just go ahead and demonstrate using these two VPNs. Now I've chosen these two VPNs because they basically cover the needs of over 99% of the VPN user base. Um, and I'll talk about them in just a second, but there are a couple of things that you might want to understand a little bit more before you move into using the VPN. So the first thing is I've chosen these two, not just because they perform well and they have the features and they work with streaming and torrenting and they protect your data, but also because they have solid no locks policies, meaning they're not going to share your information with anybody. If you didn't know, a VPN is meant to protect your information so that nobody can see what you're doing online, not your ISP, not your government, and not even your VPN provider, which is why they promise to not log any logs, thus calling it a no logs policy. And both of these VPNs have great no logs policies. Now a feature you probably wanna understand a little bit more is the kill switch. And the kill switch is also available in NordVPN. The kill switch is going to make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're protected by the VPN. So if for whatever reason your VPN loses connection, it will also disconnect you from the internet so that nobody gets to see what you're doing online, even when the VPN is off. So this is a very important feature that's also available on Mac, of course. And besides that, the other thing that you wanna look out for is your protocols. You can always use the automatic protocol. It'll work just fine, but I like using the fastest protocol, which is the lightweight UDP with ExpressVPN. And that'll be the Nord Links protocol with Nord VPN. Now, as far as how to use a VPN, now that you know uh, what these main features are for, all the other features, obviously, if you're looking for more info on those, you can check the reviews down below for both Express and Nord. And you'll also find a link to the pricing discounts if you end up picking any of them up. Now, besides the kill switch and protocols, let's get into the locations. You've got over 3,000 servers in 105 countries with ExpressVPN, which is a huge number of countries uh, for VPNs. This is way over the average. Uh, NordVPN has 61 countries and over 6,000 servers. For me personally, I prefer more countries over servers. You know, once servers go past two or 3,000, really doesn't matter anymore. So to me, I prefer having more countries. But if you're content with the 61 countries with NordVPN, I mean, that's totally your choice. Now, as far as which one to go for, at the end of the day, look, both work remarkably well for streaming, torrenting, and securing your device. If you prefer something more simple, very reliable, Reliable, a lot of countries and overall very consistent in terms of everything it does, whether you're streaming and torrenting or whatever it is, just go with ExpressVPN, especially if you want a VPN that works reliably in restrictive countries such as China, because ExpressVPN is one of the only uh, remaining VPNs that work reliably in China. NordVPN might require some manual configuration, so I wouldn't really recommend it for China, but I could recommend it for any other restrictive country, just not China. So yeah, now if you're not really convinced with ExpressVPN for whatever reason, you can go with NordVPN. This is going to be basically the most well-rounded VPN uh, that gives you a whole bunch of features for a very reasonable cost. And it still keeps up very high performance and very high levels of security. So if that's what you're looking for, then NordVPN is a great choice. Now, as far as how to use the VPN, it's very simple. Now that you know the interface, all you need to do is just go to locations and pick a server and that's basically it. So let's just say you wanna to connect to a, let's just go with a Japanese server, for example. Let's say there's a specific show that you'd like to watch in Japan. It's only available in Japan, or maybe you'd like to watch Hulu Japan. You can go to any IP finder just to double check that you are indeed connected to the right server. And that is basically as simple as it gets with regards to using a VPN. Uh, and it's the same thing with NordVPN. Again, there's not much complication here. Just zoom in and click on any of the dots and you'll be good to go. Overall, again, they're both great services. It really just depends on your needs, which is why I would recommend checking out the review below if you're still not sure about which one to go for. 
But again, both are going to be very reliable. There's a 30 day money back guarantee for both of them in case you get one and change your mind and you want to get the other. And out of curiosity, I did speak with ExpressVPN and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan because it seems like most people renew monthly thinking they might not need a VPN long term. So unfortunately, they end up spending more money on the monthly plan with a higher monthly rate than they would have going with the yearly plan, which significantly lowers the rate, especially with the discount code we provided below. So ultimately, if you know you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with a longer term plan. And then if you change your mind or realize you won't need it that long, you can always get a refund and go back to just a month at a time plan. So that's basically it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, be it Express or Nord, You'll find links to pricing discounts as well as the reviews down below. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.